Hi friends, welcome back to All or None Law. Today I'm going to talk about uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease in um, pediatric patients. So this is an important topic for um, your, your pediatric board examinations like a mass PCH examination and even it is helpful for your USMLE examination and Australian Medical Council examination and IFARM or MCC. EE, that is a Canadian Medical Council examination. Uh, before starting this, uh, I would request you to subscribe to our channel. Please, please subscribe to our channel. We need your subscription badly. Let me start with this. Briefly, I will discuss about this gastroesophageal reflux disease or um, GERD. The GERD, uh, the, the GER, is defined as the passage of the gastric content into the esophagus. So, GER is a very common in term and the preterm neonates. A uh, very uh, very large ma majority of infants exhibits uh, no signs of clinical compromise and hence do not warrant specific treatment versus uh, infants who experience feeding difficulties, poor weight gain, failure to thrive, etc. as direct result of reflux. Okay, so the gastroesophageal reflux is a GER, is a gastroesophageal reflux disease, is a GERD. Uh, for infants who have persistent spitting up, care must be taken to ensure that there is a no uh, true underlying pathology as a cause. Apnea and GR are uh, common occurrences in the premature infants, but studies have shown no temporal relationship between the two. Uh, the risk factors um, uh, are uh, uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, esophageal atresia repair, gastroscasis, Phallocele, short bowel syndrome, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, and uh, neurological deficits. So these are the risk factors. Okay, differential diagnosis is a differential uh, diagnosis for GER is in, should include GI tract ana uh, anatomic abnormalities, esophageal webs or stenosis, duodenal webs or stenosis, malformation, malrotation, gastric outlet obstruction, inborn errors of metabolism renal dysfunctions, neurological deficits, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Sometimes a mother brings the child or a baby, what you call with an infant, with the signs of uh, asthma or uh, okay so sometimes uh, this is very important one of the cause for this um, asthma could be gastroesophageal reflux disease and uh, the other thing is uh, they will have a persistent cough so this can be a cause also a GERD, the GERD causes a cough okay so clinical presentation dysphagia or um, or dinophagia um then uh, arching of the back with the feet irritability failure to thrive and hematemesis so these are the usual even can be coffee there is the breathing problems right so sometimes uh, it's an indirect presentation of GERD. The management is very important topic here initial management should be aimed at non pharmacological manure that's very important so positioning of the infant you should direct the mother how to position the infant during the feeding positioning of the infant with the head of the bed elevated very important changing the rate of feeding slow rate of bolus feeds to 60 to 90 minutes feeding less volume more frequently less volume more frequently very important so non pharmacological treatment is the best is the starting option for uh, patients with a GERD in a pediatric patients uh, consider thickening of the feeds with the commercially available thickeners. Thickeners are uh, commercially available. You can mix it and uh, it goes in the stomach and be become as thick. Not like a stones. It's just going to thick and uh, it helps uh, to remain the food in the what you call uh, in the stomach. Discontinuation of the caffeine for apnea of prematurity may ameliorate symptoms of GER. Uh, pharmacological therapy can be used if the above measure fails but data on efficacy in this patient population are very limited very good this is because uh, data has shown no significant change in the after starting with the pharmacotherapy so the drugs what you can start with is the use of a h2 blockers or a ppi to decrease gastric acid release have been reported with the mixed results use of a promo uh, pro mortality um, uh, pro mortality agents is uh, not advocated because of the potentially serious side effects example parkinsonian's reaction uh, tardive dyskinesia with the use of metoclopramide may not be reversible in fans with severe symptoms as above GERD. Uh, infants with a GERD, um, what do you call GERD, uh, often have two esophagitis or a gastritis and have been shown to benefit from a gastric acid uh, reduction. Okay. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
uh, surgical intervention with the fund application may be considered for infants who fail to respond to the pharmacological therapy and continue to display the signs of uh, what you call um, uh, GERD. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video on GERD. Thank you so much, and please tell your friends to subscribe. And you please do not forget to subscribe. You can tell your friends through the Facebook, email, or Twitter account, whichever is convenient to you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video.